Hi everyone, Debbie Kelly here again, and I'm excited to tell you about the Missouri Cottage Food Law. And these explain what regulations you need to follow when you're selling food, and in particular, if you're making it in your own home kitchen. I attended a conference last fall, and Paige Van Lu with the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services gave this presentation, and I had a copy of it, and I thought it was important enough that you guys should see it as well. So let's get started. If you're selling food, mainly produce or baked items, jams, jellies, those sorts of things, you have to be following certain regulations, and it's called the cottage food law. To understand this a little bit better, we have to understand that the Food and Drug Administration sets all the rules, the guidelines that need to be followed when making prepared foods to be able to sell them. We also have to take into consideration the Food Safety Modernization Act, which talks about the rules and regulations about how to safely grow, produce, harvest, and post-harvest handling of the produce. Those regulations then are handed down to the states. The Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services can add on any types of rules and regulations they want to the FDA. The Department of Health and Senior Services then pass those rules and regulations on to the local county health departments, and they may or may not add on additional rules and regulations. So the best thing to do if you want to know what those rules and regulations are is to contact your local county health department. There is a caveat with this as well. Once those county health departments decide and make up those rules and regulations, they can also be passed on to the cities and the towns that have county health departments or their own city health departments. And then they can add their own food guidelines and regulations for prepared foods for sale direct to the consumers. And so here are the cities on the map of Missouri that have their own guidelines on food preparations for sale. So anything that is in yellow, they follow the FDA and the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services regulations. Those counties that are in pink not only follow the FDA, the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services, but they also have added on some of their own additional regulations when it comes to the cottage food law. And then those areas that are in green, those cities and municipalities have added on their own food guidelines and regulations. So it's best for you to start in the county where you want to sell those products. So if you live, for example, in Jefferson County where I live, and you want to sell at a farmer's market, for example, inside the city limits of St. Louis City, you also want to get a hold of their regulations because you're selling products in their area and they will have guidelines on how those should be processed. Little confusing and I understand that, but always start out by contacting your local county health department. So what is the definitions here, which are really important for you to understand so that if you do call the county health department, words make a difference so that you know what words to be using when you call to ask for questions. The cottage food production operation, that is you as an individual that is producing and making value-added food products that are going to be for sale, and you're doing it in your own home kitchen with your own appliances the mixers, the ovens, the stoves, whatever you might use, that's in your own home kitchen. And that's called the cottage food production operation. Then we talk about what are the baked goods. Baked goods, as you can see here, are cookies, cakes, pastries, any item that is prepared in an oven is considered baked goods. A baked good does not include a potentially hazardous food item. So for example, if you wanted to do something a little bit different, like add fruit or do a meringue, that is not necessarily considered a baked good. And that is because there are some things that are potentially hazardous. Food that is natural or synthetic, but it also requires temperature control cannot be done in your own home kitchen under the cottage food law. So like a lemon meringue pie, the meringue has to be kept cold. Therefore, it must be done in a licensed kitchen, not your own home kitchen, according to the cottage food law. So let's look at this a little bit closer. 
So a cottage food production operation, in other words, your own home kitchen, you can do baked goods, canned jams or jelly, or dried herbs or herb mixes for sale that you make in your own home. You sell the food product directly to the end consumer, the person that's actually going to be eating it. You as the seller of that value-added product must be a member of the residence and have the knowledge of how that value-added product has been made. And so you are the only one that can sell that. So if, for example, you want to take a weekend off from a farmer's market and your sister is going to come and sell for your stand, your, your produce that you might have, your jams and jellies and baked items that you might have made. She cannot sell those value-added items unless she lives in your house and knows how those foods have been prepared. So someone else can sell your produce. They just can't sell your value-added items. So inspections. A cottage food production operation is not considered a food service and is not regulated by state or local health departments. However, it doesn't prohibit anybody from contacting the county health department about the products that you've made, especially if there's a foodborne illness or an outbreak. And then each local county health department shall keep a record of those complaints. They can do an inspection of your own home kitchen if they have any thoughts that there could be some sort of contamination that might have happened in your kitchen. There are some updates to the new regulation, the new cottage law that's out there. In the past, you could only sell a gross up to $50,000 or less. That limit is totally gone. You can gross as much as you want with selling products that are part of the cottage food law. They've also added that you can sell your products online. As a cottage food producer, you can sell in the state of Missouri only. So you as the producer need to make sure that whomever you're selling to also resides, lives in the state of Missouri because you're going to be shipping those products. It is your responsibility to make sure that they're being shipped to a Missouri address. That falls upon you as a producer of those value-added products. What can you sell as part of the cottage food law? Baked goods, jams and jellies, dried herbs, and dried herb mixes. So let's look at this. A raw commodity such as your produce, your fruits and vegetables that are washed are okay as long as they're not peeled or they're not cut up in any capacity. Examples are unprocessed whole produce, fresh herbs, honey, grain, sap. Saps would be syrup, such as walnut syrup and maple syrup. Those types of saps are what that is. What can you not sell or produce in your own home kitchen considering the cottage food law? Jams and jellies that have no sugar added are considered sugar-free. Sugar is really important to be added to those jams and jellies to reduce the potential for contamination. Hot pepper jams and jellies are not allowed. Cut produce is not allowed. Any baked item that is garnished with fresh fruit cannot be sold. Salsa, pickles, no kind of pickles can be sold under the cottage food law. They must be done in a licensed kitchen. Any kind of sauces, sprouts, wild mushrooms, meats, which of course we don't have meats when it comes to specialty crops, but some people do have meats on their farm and sell cuts of meat. That's a totally different topic. Any product that must be under temperature control for food safety issues is not allowable under the cottage food law. The label is also important on your cottage food law. You must have the name and the address of the cottage food production operation. In other words, the address of your home operation, your home farm, where you make the value added product. The common name of the food, such as peach jelly, apple pie, those sorts of things are what are going to be added to that food label as the common name. Name all of the ingredients in the order of food weight. So those that weigh the most will be listed first. And then all the way down the list of all the ingredients that are added to that value added product. The total net weight of the food, 
And then a statement also must be on that food label. Product is prepared in a kitchen that is not subject to inspection by the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services. I know this has been really quick. You probably have lots of questions in your mind. So the best thing for you to do is get a hold of your local county health department. Happy cooking.